flip it. Hello, Paisley Five and Dime. How's everybody doing? Uh, we're gonna give it a few moments for everybody to get in. We are live right here in the beautiful state of Georgia, and we are getting some southern hospitality along with a good healthy dose of some Prince collectibles. So, uh, hope everyone is ready. The person we're gonna go visit and see her collection, her name is Honey Green. Honey Green has been a member of the Paisley Five and Nine for a while, and um, I took her as a treat from Miss Lulu and myself. We took her as our special guest to the Maserati showcase last night. So um, we got to meet and hang out with Honey for a while, and now we're trying to find her home. We have an address, but I've never been here before. I don't know what it looks like. So, there are some beautiful homes here. People are just jumping in. People are jumping in? Yeah, Fantastic. So just oh, it looks say like good we, morning. I think it's right we are here. here. Look for the mini. You said mini or minivan? Uh, I thought you said mini, but maybe I'm wrong. Mm. Let's see, this is 387. Yes, this is it. 387 and if you are anything like um, myself I always look at number sequences and I see the 87 and I think sign of the times it's just what you're supposed to you think of you are such a geek I'm, I'm a prince geek though so it's <laughs> perfectly okay <laughs> prince geeks are fine and we are here at honey's house there is honey oh and look at honey's whip Whoop. look at this um, oh, yeah, she's it. ready. Yeah, folks, come on, let's go ahead and get out. Uh, the queen does not touch doorknobs. Get over here. Stop that. <laughs> I have to teach my woman don't touch doorknobs. How you doing, honey? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Bobs. Uh, I, I tried. Sometimes I forget she makes me run back to the car to fetch my manners. I do. I do. Of course, we were like right away looking yeah, at that. I was like giving you a beacon. Um, that is a little funny this story. Is, this is Honey Green. Hi, everyone. So how you doing? I'm great. Are you like surviving I just saw last, you last night? night? Yeah, yeah we just get the hand. <laughs> I know. I didn't get to. I'm not, I don't get. I'm not on camera, so. Okay. <laughs> now, last night, thank you so much. That was oh. such a great surprise. I mean, it was much too hot to be cool there. I yeah, that. I like that. <laughs> it, was, it was very hot in there. So you enjoyed last night? Very much. Yeah. Um, Brown Mark, seeing Maserati back together, small, intimate uh, grooves. The very small. Surprises. You know, the Laura Branigan song was a big surprise. Yeah. I loved that. With a funk twist to it. Um, I wish everyone could have experienced that. Yeah, that was uh, Honored to have been there. Cool. Oh, it was, my, it was our pleasure to treat you to that. And uh, thank you for doing the Collector Spotlight with us. Did you see this? Did you get a close-up of this thing? This is fantastic. That's how you represent. See, we represent. We got like a sticker on the back of the, on the back window. We need to up our game. This is a level of dedication that. Yeah. Now, speaking of level of dedication, we you know we gotta rock our shirts all the time. But, honey has. Did you want to save I, the best for last? Time? We can, but man, it is so impressive. I mean, people are gonna need a moment to like recover from it. Well, it's, then you're gonna have to wait. We gotta wait. You gotta make them wait then. All right, coming up, I'm gonna show you a level of dedication <laughs> that I wish I had. This is it's, it's very impressive. So stay tuned. Don't don't leave us just yet. I have a little funny story with this. I went to lunch um, a couple of months ago, and I pull in and I look up, and the car in front of me had three front stickers on the back. And there was a lady standing next to it, and I just got out and was like. I had to say something. Oh, yeah. I was like, you know, sharing the purple of. And I said, I recognized your stickers and, and pointed to mine. And we just sort of two ships passing in the night. A little later in the afternoon, I'm scrolling through Facebook. All of a sudden, I see a picture of the hood of my car. And we're <laughs> in the same Prince group, love, love for one another. It's awesome. And she wrote this beautiful thing. I had made her day. She made my day. And I was just like, you know. Oh, man. It's a good. That you know, is cool. That is absolutely well, what it's on, about. Man. I'd like to show you some of the other videos. Canada's in the house. Oh, she's got her uh, 
Oh, that's the for you, the symphonic. Yeah, we're going. Uh, we're going to the end of the month. We're going to be joining in. Shaded backyard. Love the yard. I would totally be living out here. <laughs> but it looks like fall, but it doesn't feel like fall. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh oh, oh, we got goodies. <laughs> Uh, oh my. One day I'm going to have a room. Hi. How are you? That's my son, uh, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi. I'm Eric. This is my wife, Miss Lulu. How are you? Good. And have, maybe, have she, has she shown you any of the things that we do? Uh, we talked about it a little bit today. Yeah. When I came home. He, he's in college. So. Well, obviously, you've been immersed in Prince then. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks yeah. So you're a child of you're a child of Prince. <laughs> well, this is always interesting. We got to do this on the second collector spotlight too, because as we walked in, the kids were there, much and, younger than you. <laughs> oh yeah, they were they were much smaller. But um, they had some very interesting conversation. So what's it like growing up with such a hardcore Prince fan parent? Um, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's much different from just normal parents. It's just the music we listen to all the time. Was so much better. <laughs> <laughs> the music you listen to all the time was well, so much like better. You would, you would have like the first generation like iPod or had the 64 gigabytes and it was just like full of print songs. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. Like every car ride and like, <laughs> CDs or the, uh, the iPod mixed around with some other stuff too. So what's your funniest memory of a print song as a kid that just kind of always stuck with you? Like, oh yeah, I can remember being in the backseat and mom would sing this song. <laughs> I don't think I actually have one of those really other than like we're pretty much oh, oh the other one. There's my oh. daughter. <laughs> She's like, oh <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about being uh Prince kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> Growing up in the Prince house and so what is what is like a favorite song? Uh I think the Thief in the Temple remix. Oh, the yeah. oh, you have uh, sophisticated I try. It's good children. Good yeah. Parenting. Well, because we, we had conversations about like with doing, because we're in the mar we're the marching band family too, so like, what songs can you do in a marching band? And that one like works really well. You want to do like side to side. Yeah. Like, variations. These in the Temple remix. I am impressed. I would, yeah, I would love to see that on a marching band stage. That would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So he's uh, going to school to be a music education. Uh, educator and Very so that's I think you know, it'd be cool if he if, when he achieves that goal gets his own band he can do a show for his mom and <laughs> that's fantastic you do know that there are universities across the country now who have created curriculum all around Prince mm, yes and his musical genius and the diversity seriously the, the diversity of his of what he's done so It'd be interesting to see what you do yeah. with yours, and you may want to try to jump into one of those little side programs to check it out. Maybe. Yeah. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a musical family. My husband and I met first day of band camp, University of Alabama, and, and of course, both of my kids are involved in, in marching band as well, so uh, music is, is, is just part of our, our heartbeat, actually. Really. Yeah, I, I totally understand that, and it's when he passed away and we had the local media outlets, the newspaper and the TV stations came and interviewed me and they were, one of their questions was like, so how did it feel when you got the news? I'm like, well, how do you think it felt? But exactly. It was, um, it was more so because going back, much like you probably can do, you look back at milestones throughout your life and you can almost remember the song that marked that spot or you hear a song on the radio and you go, oh, I remember this song, I was doing this. And so his songs became a soundtrack like to your entire it. life. And I said, like, you know, the day I got the news that he died, it's like the soundtrack went silent. Yeah. And the soundtrack just kind of stopped. So it was, uh, uh, having it become such an ingrained part of your fiber, I totally understand. Yeah. Well, now we get the next generation and educate. Yes, and do you have a Prince favorite? I do. Mine's my, uh, not be as uh, impressive as my brother's, but I love Raspberry Bread. Like, right. Yeah, I love that. I'm sorry I pronounced it poorly. <laughs> okay. I get that. 
Girl, you can say it however you need to say it. That's a great song. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I love the song. It's, it's a really sweet song because it's just like, I love the story behind it where he meets the girl and he just falls in love with her, remembers the, the beret the best, and just like, I don't know, I just, I just really like that. It's a sweet song. Yeah. Good. It's got it a nice is. five and dime in it. Yeah. That's it's actually where yeah. the five and dime reference yeah. came from. <laughs> I, was, I was doing a tie in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's why on the logo, he's got the raspberry beret outfit. There you go. He's the rocking beret. your raspberry beret logo there. So if you've oh, seen yeah. the video, that's the outfit he had on. <laughs> <laughs> and the store is called the Paisley Five now, and I took that from the lyric of that song, working part time in a five and now. So it's awesome. That's that awesome. Hell of a time she didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> so what, do you always have it splayed out? No, no, this is, uh, our house is not, doesn't have a room for me yet, so that's a goal. Uh, and I had a lot of fun in the past two days uh, digging through and pulling out things, memories, I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. There's a couple of boxes I did not find, so this is about 90% of the goodies that I have. You you do realize that if you have a space in this house, it's in jeopardy now, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you know that as soon as you leave, yeah, it's out of the box. if you leave for more than a day that... Uh, that uh, that that room's probably gonna come. You're gonna come back. It's gonna be purple. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> One of the first things I'm gonna share is uh, my my uh, I, I in '86. That's when I learned to drive. That's when I got my driver's license. And my first car was my grandmother's '74 Oldsmobile Tornado. And if you Google that car, you will find one of the largest cars ever. There's about six foot of hood and about six foot of uh, oh, gosh. of of trunk space. And it was high tech, it had an eight track player in it. Okay, that's super cool. So in 86, little reference here, you know, where you can get 10 CDs for a dollar, kind of mm -hmm. music stars, well, eight tracks were not that cheap, but I did, I had to have my tunes. So I special ordered um, you know, uh -oh, five albums go. on actual eight track. Yeah, you're gonna and like, don't you just I've... gave me chills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever run into anyone that has uh, the eight tracks. But you have two that I do not have. Woo! Ooh. Okay. I do not have parade, and I do not. Have, I've got around the one today. I do not have controversy. Uh oh. But I've got the other ones, for and I've you. got for you and Prince. And Prince. Right. I, you know, it was. I, I only had the car for about a year and a half, two years, and that was all I collected was my. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's that fantastic. Was I'm, there's probably a bunch of the collectors on the page right now just losing <laughs> their mind because that eight tracks is one of the things that they really all go for. And this is something that my car, the doors are concave, so I can't get this installed. But it has, where when you open the door, you can have a symbol. What? And I'm also thinking of maybe trying to figure out how to rig this up. Um, where when a door opens, maybe it'll work. But all the instructions are in Japanese, which I don't read very well. College he, kid. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, so that looks... Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is in charge of learning Japanese, so we know how to install, how, so we know how to install the Prince light. Okay, you have my complete attention with this. This is cool. This is super, did you get a close up on one? I did get that. that I, I think it's super cool. Man, so it's like whenever you're having a really crappy day and you come home from work and you like open the door and it shines on the wall, I think it's that's, like a bat signal for it's, having it's, a good that's day. That's what I would I'd like to try to figure out a way to make that happen. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like a new bat signal. I love it. So I do have Purple Rain on, on I believe, every format minus LaserDisc and Beta because I never had either one. What about the old huge disc that you had to slide into the players? Mm. I've actually got Purple okay, Rain that, on one of those. That it's I may not have, so that maybe a, a third one that I don't have. I can't even remember the name of it. It's so obsolete. But you got it on beta? No, no, I don't have beta. I have oh. VHS. Um, we got DVDs all around. Mm -hmm. uh oh, I've seen this photo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's from the Purple Rain tour. Yeah, back when you had like the record bar and they'd, they'd have uh, pictures for sale. Um, that's where I got those. That's awesome. Do you have Lego First Avenue? I do. Yep. Yeah, I that like is that really cool. Um, my wife ordered that for me. I missed out on it, and she she was uh, quick to draw. Now the uh, Purple Rain uh, puppet. Does it have a name? I've always wondered. 
He doesn't have a name. I know. If there is a name for it, I'm not even familiar. Yeah, I was always curious about that. My husband, uh, the lovely man that he is, he's on a business trip, so you can't meet him, um, has had, he, he knows I've wanted that forever. And uh, he searched around and found it. And when he found that you guys were coming, I got my Christmas present early. I actually got that last night. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, oh. man. So, yeah. See? Kudos to my husband. That is yeah, kudos, kudos to him. Yes, exactly. I'm mean, easy to shop for. So <laughs> well, well, yeah, especially if he has my information. <laughs> he's on connected it. to <laughs> Vibe and Dime. <laughs> what do you got? Her birthday's coming up. It's an anniversary. <laughs> and yes, I do have people that like the husband and wife, and the wife loves Prince, and the husband does not care, but he'll get my information just so he can go. Exactly. You know, I got an anniversary coming up. I need something. I'm like, okay. I got it's you. purple. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, that happens. It happens a lot. And DVDs has got a lot of purple rain. And what else you got? Ray, Aladdin, Hits, Cherry Moon, Graffiti Bridge. Mm -hmm. We have an interview coming up with uh, uh, Ingrid Chavez. We're mm -hmm. doing an interview with her. She just released a new album. So, I um, heard this song. It's really good. Tomorrow or Tuesday, I have to check with her manager and see what they were doing. There. So, was there family DVD watching? Uh, were, uh, yeah. were you subjected? We, was we watch for boring. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. it, it should. You should be watching at least every month for sure. <laughs> so you could take the puppet and do the the, the, oh, no. the skit. Life's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the voice. Why should he do yoga? Is it interactive? I don't, have oh, a, yeah. I don't have a computer that that works on anymore. But I don't think anybody owns a computer that this actually works on. Interactive CD. That's this is awesome. A really neat game. Oh, and you're not the first edition, too. Micah's, Micah Flowers is saying CED, question mark. Micah, I'm not sure what you're asking there. Hey, welcome, everybody. The first edition of Interactive is the one that's red to yellow fake. There was a different second edition that was printed up. It was purple to black fade. Uh -huh. So just a little tidbit so you know which edition you have. Most of the ones that come in the jewel case were all the uh, red to yellow fade. So one of those geeky little <laughs> things. That, if you're into the collecting world, oh yeah. First of all, well, I have the one because you know, it first came out and you know it only had four CDs. And then yeah. it came out, I had to get the one with five CDs. So oh, yes, you've got to get I have to have Karma so yeah, I've got it. So you got the four and the five. I have the four and the five. And, of course, the other That's box set. That's my favorite. Piano and the microphone with the, the piano CD? Yeah. Of course, have to have that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. So it has a poster. One night alone, it ain't over. I played, I've so, played that. That's my favorite CD. This is like, this is an anchor piece in pretty much any collection. Mm. Wow. Yours is pristine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. That one is definitely. Were there threats? Were there threats of, of don't touch my Prince collection? Well, that's why it's been <laughs> hidden. There's some things in different places. It's like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm not going to tell you no, that's it. you just won't find it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got, that's the Canadian Days of Mo the Montreal references. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the Days of Wild Single. What else yeah. we got here? May I? You absolutely may, please. Oh, Misha. Excuse me, Misha. Thank you. I'm so, thank you for correcting me. Misha Flowers so has said that that big disc that you were talking about thinks that it's CED. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's correct. I don't know what that means myself, CED. I'm still lost. News, uh-oh. Hey, Tim. There's a good collector. Yeah. News is a favorite. News is my favorite. Is this the UPC? Which direction? There's... North. Okay. Abs <laughs> hey, girl, yeah, she absolutely. Is, she is north and west, I and am... ironically enough, that's the two areas that she's lived in. I am Where north and west, yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so this is the one without the UPC. There's two editions of this as well. There's one... With the UPC barcode and move out. And I think the saxophone was misspelled on the first edition. Eric Leeds. Yep. Yep, that is not how you spell saxophone. That is not how you spell saxophone? There's a saxophone. Band there. people would know that. That's Can right. you believe? He, I don't know how you sleep. How, how do you know that? 
<laughs> oh, Black Album. Black Album. Must have. Oh, is there a second one not alone I, CD? I do have more than one. Uh oh. Serious collector. <laughs> so, I'm not going to like taunt her or taunt anyone out there, but you know, a lot of people looking for this. She has two. <laughs> so, throw that out there. She has two. I don't think she's parting with them. <laughs> Probably not. The new master. Oh, 1999, the new master with Larry Graham, Rosie Gaines, Rosario Dawson. You sound like a Dougie DJ. Fresh. <laughs> well, I have had my fair share of that. I did some DJing last night. I did. I was there. I shook what I had. <laughs> she, I watched. She was. I was back there dancing. Minneapolis Genius. Oh, yeah. Vanity 6, original U.S. edition. Another tough one to get. Babe, let's see the covers. You're just, like, reading the <laughs> sides. Can't help All right, we got Hit and Run. That's the one from, I, I was at both of the last two shows here in Atlanta, and that is one of the CDs I got with your ticket. So you were at both of the last two shows. I so did, let's I talk about that for a second. Uh oh. I was on the front row for the first show, and I got to touch his hand. Wow. That, yeah, that's, that's chilling. Yes. Did you ever get to meet him? Uh, no, not like for a conversation, but I mean. Uh, you were witnessed by him. Yeah, there, there's a funny music, musicology story. Um, you know, a couple times on that tour where he had someone come up and, like, is there anything I can get you guys? And he ordered mm -hmm. some pizzas. So in one night, a piece of pizza came out to me. So I was like, wow, he bought me dinner. That's pretty cool. And the next night, um, I was on the front row. And I'd been to musicology four or five different shows. And he went off the stage. I was like, doesn't normally go off the stage at this point. What's going on? It's something new. And he comes around with a stack of watchtowers, uh, with Jehovah's Witness watchtowers. Yeah. And everyone's going crazy. He stands right in front of me and hands me one. And I, I thank you, and he nodded. And the lady, uh, two over from me, was having a conniption. I mean, just, you know, and, and like, like a new girl, and they're, yeah. he's like, have your moment. Well, I was keeping it pretty cool. Um, so he nodded for me to pass them down. He stood there in front of me for a little bit. So in back-to-back -back nights, I got dinner and I got witnessed. That's awesome. Man, yeah. That's that really is super neat. awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I'm more into those stories. I'm <laughs> the CDs. The stories are cool. Yeah. That, yeah, not everybody gets those interactions with him. And he was so standoffish from a lot of the public because it doesn't matter how good the album is. There's always a negative review. It doesn't matter how good you do in the world, somebody has to bring some kind of negative vibe to it. And he understood that. So the only way to safely not let it affect you is to just kind of not be in it. So I think there was a lot of that going on. It's like, so the, the interactions he had with people were very sparse. Mm -hmm. And for you to have two, there's people that would have freaked out over getting a, you know, just a piece of pizza. They would have lost their mind. Okay. Much like the lady that was a couple down from me. Yeah. So I, I think kept it's... my cool and he stayed in front of me. I was like, all right. But like when he left, I, I immediately became the puddle formerly known as Honey because I, was... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe that just happened. The puddle formerly known as Honey. I think it's wonderful. You were um, at the last two shows here. Yeah. My last I think time that's seeing really that really powerful. That's the shirt from the last show. I've worn it once. You even have a purple trombone. I do. It's not. Does that say P-Bone? Yeah, that's the name of, uh, it's a purple plastic P-Bone. That's um, cool. It's not technically Prince related, but it's purple. And, uh, it's purple, it's called a P-Bone. So there's going to be a whole <laughs> bunch of P-Bone jokes started right now. <laughs> stop it. Just stop. Stop right now. That is fantastic. And we got Sheila and a bunch of Let me come over here. Yeah, um, my husband and I celebrated our 25th Pick wedding that up, anniversary so on uh, Sheila E's Latin Cruise. And it was such an honor. Obviously, I got to meet her and Pops Esquivio and her brother as well. Um, there's a poster I put on the wall over there. Um, they signed. Uh, had a lot of great acts. Judith Hill was on that. Judith is amazing. I bought her um, Be Even own, Your Own Drum, and she signed it while I was on the cruise. So you also collect... Bunch and the, of Bama stuff too. Well, I, we graduated, so yeah. So yeah, I got to. But Sheila signs everything backwards. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, yes. I, I know it's just, I was, and 
she said, what's your name? And she had Honey written backwards in his no time. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, she, she, I think it was probably around the Love Sexy tour that she started doing that. And it just never went away. Let me turn around. Okay. And, and then, the books. Um, yeah, you got the books. Wait till you get to the hat box, though. Yes. So, this is Life and Times. This is not the revised, updated version. This is the original that has the felt on the cover. So, once again, one of those little nerdy collector things. The first edition, mm -hmm. always, always the tougher to find because of the cover. It has the felt. And 21 Nights. It's fantastic. I, I, gonna... I think this is a... Uh, go ahead, babe. No, I was just... I think most of the collectors are familiar with 21 Nights. It's just a fantastic It's so book. beautiful. Randy St. Nicholas did all the photos in here. And, yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. And the CD. CD is... It's, it's over here. That way you can... Jam out at any given time. Exactly. The, uh, you know, the Purple Library is, uh, there are so many great um, print materials out there, books, uh, besides uh, magazine publications, but I think um, the books are, are a huge part of it. It's capturing um, that legacy, and I think it's important for people to, to build those into their collections. Oh, yeah, the books are huge. But uh, by all means... Uh... I've kept this. I'll let you touch that. Almost, I'm not touching it. Almost <laughs> untouched. So talk to us about, oh, wow. Talk this to us the about. The Hawaii box. The Hawaii box, yeah. And so all the petals, I really haven't moved them around much, but it came with a T-shirt. We won't even unfold it. And then, of course, I have. Controversy single. Live and live. It came with a, another poster. Incense, which this box smells uh, amazing when you open it. The book went, oh, of course, the book. Is your book still sealed too? No. No, that, I don't think the book came sealed. I don't think that. it did. I did look through it once when I put everything in. Yeah, there's <laughs> so some great beautiful. pictures in there. Who did the photos of that? Was that an option? Yes. Put that one. That one was pretty much left. So what drew you to the Hawaii box? Uh, I mean, all of a sudden it said purple box, and you had me at that point, so. Purple uh, box. <laughs> you can make, you know, this one's just really, really cool and awesome, so. I, I'm I like that. honored to have, I got a VIP box from the uh, 21 Nights, or not the 21 Nights, the, the piano microphone gala at Paisley. Mm -hmm. He did the two shows that night, and the VIP we're given a purple box that had a different assortment of things that are I don't think, got. I've never seen the, like the same assortment. It always seems like you get a new shirt or something. The Hawaii like was, they were pretty much standard all standard. the way across. The the ones that were in the VIP box from the, the uh, Piano Microphone Gala at Paisley, all of those were different assortments and variations, which was neat, but <coughs> I ended up getting one of those from a, a very dear friend that I wasn't able to go to him, but he took care of it and uh, got me one. So the Lisa, hey Lisa, Lisa's asking, uh, the petals and the incense came, they came with the box, they correct? The box. They were with when the you, box. When you open that box, it just has a wonderful aroma. Excellent. Has there been any other questions or does anyone yeah. have any questions so far? Yeah, let's think. On? Let's see. I don't know if you finished with the CD. Is there 1-800 new fonts in there? Love 1-800 new fonts. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Love that because it's got Maite. It's got the new power generation. In my time, I've got Children of the Sun, got my time. And MPLS, yeah. must have. Tim said he loves the purple trombone. Oh, thank you. Tim, Tim Bach? Mm-hmm. Tim Bach over in, Tim should be asleep, or no. Yeah, he's over It's in nighttime Europe right in now. Europe. <laughs> yeah. MBG Music Club, wow. Actual, I've worn that a lot. Yeah, that is, that is well loved right there. <laughs> That's the way it should be. And you got some more medallions from. Did you go to the celebrations back in the day? I have not. I've, I've not been to Paisley. Uh oh. It's killing me, but I, I, it's on my bucket list. I'm sure that's on some gift list somewhere. Absolutely. It's on a gift list. Some family yeah, yeah, trip yeah. list. They're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like, well, we just got called out now. <laughs> I saw your green one last night. Yeah, I had the green one on the DJ stand last night. She's got the blue. 
That's awesome. That's that's fantastic. I need to get another one. I just need to get all the colors and yeah. them all around the piece of bobbin. And then I've started, you know, these little guys have come out. So. The Funko so, Pops. I've got one so far. This came, uh, the For You Sym Symphony mm -hmm. with Quest. Uh, these were also, you can get them. I'm a sucker for lights, but uh, it was nice so I could play along with the symphony with my son. That's well, awesome. Tambourine. Those tambourine. are fantastic. We're we'll going yeah, Monday. Cool. So I'm looking forward to it. Monday? To, I think it's Monday. Wow. And, I, and then I got this on the Sheila E. Uh, cruise. Because I forgot to bring a hat. Yeah. How did you get this tambourine with a big symbol on it? Uh, I, I honestly don't remember how I got that one. It, um, I wish I could say I grabbed it from being thrown in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> we can make stories up. I, yeah, that, would, <laughs> that, would, that would work better, but no. He threw it off the stage and it was going to someone else and you dove in front of them. And so I am totally old school, so I love your VHS tapes. I, there's a few missing. Um, I have uh, Sexy MF. I also have um, Get Off somewhere. Um, but I don't, I could, that, there's a box or two that I can say I didn't find. So it's somewhere in this house. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, you are a fan of lights. I see your, um, your wheel. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are those things called? I never yo yo's technically, but you know. Uh oh, Princeton Revolution Live, the Syracuse show. Mm -hmm. An interesting little nerd tidbit on this, too. <laughs> First edition had the different color. Um, I don't know what this little flap was called, but. Mm -hmm. And it had the Paisley on the logo, or on the sticker. Yeah, total nerd stuff. So the first edition. I always like being able to tell the story of, like, you know, the first time you heard Prince and mm -hmm. yes. what, what, what happened. And so I think mine's a little funny, but... Um, we'll switch over here. 1978, yeah. 1979, I grew up here in Atlanta. Um, Closer. I was doing... Uh, I was taking ice skating lessons at the Omni. So where Starbucks and the... Uh, Seating for the food court is now used to be an ice rink, and we'd go down twice a week. And if it was raining, we'd drive down. I'm sitting there listening to the radio. I want to be your lover comes on. I'm immediately drawn to it, and it gets you. I'm eight, nine years old at this point. <laughs> I was gonna say, so, how old are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm eight, nine years old, and uh, the DJ comes on and says, "I was I want to be your lover by Prince," and I distinctly remember looking at my mother and going. Prince sounds like a guy, but he sounds like a girl. Because yeah. I didn't know what falsetto was, but right. I was drawn in from that very beginning. <laughs> uh, that's my wife's story, too, is I Want to Be Your Lover was the first one that she really mm -hmm. latched onto as well. Mm -hmm. I was a late bloomer. <laughs> I, I didn't even know who it was until I saw the video for Uptown. And I was like, who is she? <laughs> she has a mustache, but she is not wearing a top and there's nothing uh oh <laughs> yeah. what is going on so i couldn't figure it out and then like about a year later i saw the video for uh controversy and it said prince i'm like hey that says i really like that it's awesome so went out and mowed yards did what i had to do got my money went down to the store got the controversy tape and that started the frenzy that has now become what what up. did your mother think she just sort of, she's she like, I thought it sounded like a girl, too. <laughs> <laughs> so then what was your first Prince music purchase, and when? Uh, it was uh, the LPs, because uh, I think it started at 1999, and I went back and bought all the others and had, had that collection. Because I, I had to be old enough to be able to have money to purchase. Right, right. Um, but I still get started with the vinyl, and it, it expanded from there. And... Uh, you know, I think one of the things that's fueled by princisms or whatever, I just, um, you know, he came here uh, for Purple Rain Tour, sold out, I think, eight, eight shows at the Omni. And I begged, I pleaded, I was like, you know, I want to go to the show. You had to camp out at Turtles back in the day to get your tickets. Turtles, that was a spot. And at 14, 15, I was not allowed to do that. Um, couldn't go on Scalp because that's not, that's not, not nice. So I missed seeing Purple Rain live, and it just, I think it created a fire in me. So the first time I got to see him live was, uh, I think, kind of like the start of the hit and run concept, but it was Live, live for One Another. Yeah. yeah. 
The Love for Another Charity Tour was yep. uh, 96. Yep. I was on a trip when the tickets went on sale here in Atlanta. When I got back, I just I sought the tickets. So I paid a whole lot more than what I wanted to, but it was my birthday, and I was going to go see him. And that was uh, on stage when we walked into the club. It was Atlanta Live by Disco Kroger, which I don't think exists anymore. And when we walked in, that was standing behind the microphone on stage. I would love to say that that is the exact one that was standing mm -hmm. behind it, um, <laughs> but a buddy of mine uh, knew someone at a record store, because those were the record stores, and uh, I was at work one day, and he's like, honey, uh, someone wants to see you in the lobby. And I go up, and... He was, was in the lobby waiting He's for waiting for you. <laughs> someone wants to so see you in the lobby. He was... Uh, the arm of the guitar was already damaged when I got it, so I'm real careful about that. That stays in a, in a hidden place at all times. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably one of the only that, stand-ups I don't have. <laughs> See, everybody always freaks out. They're like, well, I don't know. I've, I've asked many people about doing the collector spotlights like this, and some of them are like, well, my collection's not big enough. Or and I was like, look, everyone has something mm -hmm. that someone else doesn't have. So it doesn't matter how big, how small. It, it really doesn't matter because there's always something in there that one of the viewers or even myself doesn't even have and that's one of the stand-ups i've always looked after and i've never been able to get it i've got a purple rain one still in the box Ooh. that's exciting. i don't have that one see it doesn't matter what you have there's always something else and you've got several really cool items of so yeah. people want you both to speak up louder okay. oh yeah that's okay. Okay. see that's so, why we need a production guess, manager um, I've got the uh, Vikings jersey. I love it. See, with, yeah. With the symbol on it. Here's my um, finals. I okay. I no, go ahead. I'll let you flip through there and tell us that. about what you got. Well, we'll start with the old 45. I love those. You got your yeah. Your picture. That's the original too, not the record old store. Old school day. vinyl. Yep. Uh, I will say, my son was like, "Are you know, what are these?" Because he hadn't yeah. seen them before, so. Because I said back in the day, if you wanted to get the B-sides, you had to get these. Oh, yeah. That way you could hear the B-side. There's the Another Lonely Christmas. That's the short version. The picture um, sleeves are everything. Mm -hmm. They really are. Like, they're collectible in and of themselves. We were just talking about Hello yesterday. Pop Life with Hello. And now we've got... Um... Ah! She's always in my hair. Thank you. Good save. And let's go crazy with the Erotic City B side. I'll let you hand off to me. Okay, like finger. <laughs> I also love that, um, you there's know, purple. there's US releases and then there's the global releases. And they're I don't all think I've ever slightly pursued, different. I've never pursued anything other than what we had here. So I don't have Germans and Japaneses and things of that nature, but mm -hmm. I do have an Apollonia. That is really cool. The uh, Sex Shooter 7-inch is really neat, especially in still having the picture sleeve on it. This Purple Rain one, I always thought was really cool when I was a kid, and I bought this one. Yeah. Because one side is the label, and the other just has Purple Rain. Purple Rain on it, yeah. I do have the big version with the purple vinyl. And look, like every good Prince collector, everything is in chronological order. I don't. I think I might be out of order. You two are geeks. <laughs> you shuddy. There's, there's the twelve-inch version of Let's Go Crazy and Erotic. Stuff. They're not only chronological. He has <laughs> global collections of things. So all the Germans are sitting in one spot. And then all the yeah, <laughs> the French. There's, there's the one. That's, don't mock me. That's that's purple. Vinyl. Purple vinyl. Yeah. Love it. And that mountain's 12 inch was. First time I heard it, I put I dropped love the that. needle on that wax. All right, what's your favorite vinyl? We got 10 boxes. This one right asking. here. This one right here. Yes, ma'am. With the long version of Another Lonely Christmas and the live version of I Would Die For You. And the long version of Another Lonely Christmas actually has an extra verse in it. Yep. So that's. That's my favorite vinyl. Really cool. Tim Bach is the one that was asking about that, and he Mike is the says one hello that, from Cleveland. Mike, 
Mike was our one. second collector spotlight, and Tim was our first one. So you got hey guys, the other two collector spotlights watching. Honey's part of the spotlight crew. That makes me the first girl. Yep. <laughs> yep. There we go. The first girl of the spotlight crew. There we go. And then we've got your times. What time is it? Pandemonium. And we got Morris. Morris. We got Sheila. Now, have you seen the time? I have. Um, so musicology here in Atlanta. Oh, that's right. The time open for him. My husband. I did not drag my husband to every show, but I'm sitting there and I've been to musicology. And Poor guy. He should have been at every and show. Tick, 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 <laughs> and I literally grabbed his arm. I'm like, the time is here. <laughs> oh my God! See, now I'm jealous. I've never gotten to see them together. And Jerome came through the crowd. Mm hmm. Yeah, it sounds like Rome. It was pretty cool. We should call him. We should. Mm hmm. So I've got the Sheila's. And oh, there's a 12 oh, inch cuckoo. of cuckoo. Nice, nice. So I that's would, another awesome them. focus is uh, 12 inch collecti collectibles. Um, 12 inch singles. We got Jesse represented as well. There's the Vanity Wild. I have the. Vanity six on CD, but I don't have it on vinyl. Got the family. The family, yep. And then somebody I saw last night. I got my Yeah. Let's take got to see him and have a picture taken. Got to hang out with Tony Christian. Tony hasn't changed. He's a character. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell us about Tony. <laughs> I, mean, uh, he, I don't know if he has an off switch, but I mean, he was funny, hilarious, and I think no, that's he, just him. That is him. That, that was my impression. I'm like, wow, what a fun guy to be with. During SAP, we ended up having to make a quick trip because it always happens. Nothing is ever flawless. So while we were setting up for the show last night, we realized there's a few things for the stage that we didn't have. So Speak up, I, babe. I had to make a run to Guitar Center, and Tony Christian went with me. So as we're driving there, Tony does not have an off switch. <laughs> So Tony was on the entire time, all the way to Guitar Center, while we were there making our purchases, and all the way back. Tony was Tony the entire time. <laughs> he was and, lovely. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It was, uh, it was memorable. Absolutely memorable. And I've got, I've got Apple With a little poster in it? I uh, know. No. This one was, this one I bought second hand. I don't have that. So we, we may have to just find one uh -oh. of those. And then, of course, this just came out, and I have not opened it yet. I do have it. Oh, yeah, it's so fantastic. Have you been able to hear all of it? Like, I have, download or yeah, I have, I have, I have heard, I just haven't opened it. Oh, and uh, and 9040s was right up front, so I love 9040s because yep. you know, I'm a Minneapolis girl, so and then of course, my favorite album well, is one. for you. So, what was we you know the first Prince related thing that you bought? But what do you think is the first first piece that you found that made you realize that it's not just the regular records? There's like 12 inches, there's posters, there's all this other world of collectibles. What was that one item that when you discovered it made you realize that there's a whole other world to collect? You know, I, I don't think I realized I was a collector. It was just a passion for the music. Mm -hmm. And then when you looked around, you're like, well, look at everything I've collected. So I don't know if it's just one moment like that yeah. it's just kind of like like you were saying the music of your lifetime yeah the music of your lifetime exactly mm -hmm. so you said you all are a band family mm -hmm. you're all a band family yep. so have you all played have you all played prince in any other repertoire because um, i noticed that particularly when he transitioned lo lots of ma major bands mm -hmm. national and university bands were all incorporating something into their scenario um, i used to play in a big band here locally and i did get a couple of arrangements it, this was before the transition um and we played we got to play those a couple of times in the band but ha since the transition i have not played yeah I played a note. well i know <laughs> you even have a purple trombone <laughs> and that's the instrument i played I don't want to hear no deep jokes, but that is the instrument I play. And my Barry Sax is in this case. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the baritone. That's the baritone sax. <laughs> Absolute instrument. That that's rolled up is the Purple Rain poster. That that's folded. Uh, it's kind of damaged, but it's the Graffiti Bridge poster. Uh, oh, the movie poster? Yep. Fantastic. But it has, a, it. Love it. It has a little damage to it. So. Hey, they got to be loved. Somebody got to love them. 
I'll get this framed at some point. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's the huge marquee. I poster. love it. It's the huge marquee poster. So. Yep. So I definitely thought about this when I get my room. I'm gonna call it my honey hive. It'll be very purple. Okay, I love that. And, uh, <laughs> the honey hive. <laughs> Uh, and what's the password? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is some of my shirts. Um, yeah, this one's kind of neat because it was a musicology crew shirt that you can get. This is my favorite one. This one I think one the whole alone. One Night Alone live experience I liked because you had the, you could go in for the uh, sound check. Mm -hmm. And he'd actually, uh, one, of, one of them here in Atlanta, he came out in the audience and kind of did a question and answer for a little while. And then you had the show, then you had after shows. Yeah. Um, I flew to Toronto to see a One Night Alone Live and Musicology. That's I mean, it, Mike. I had a dear, dear friend that was there, so <laughs> I went up to take her. An excuse to go see your friend. Yeah. And I've got the hockey jersey. You got the purple jersey. <laughs> yep. There's, I think, teal, black, white. red, white, and purple. Mm -hmm. I think it's all the colors on that. And then I have. Now these are the these are the tickets for the last show. Okay, those uh, need a frame. Yeah. This is holy grail material. Those need here. a frame. Covered the price. <laughs> oh no, he Would is you? worth every cent. That's tri <laughs> AAA seat thirty two. Wow. And um, there was a shot of the crowd. And oh yeah, that I have it's a frame. I can, I can pull it up on my DVR, but there was a shot in the crowd, and it's me. Right before he touched, we, we touched hands because he went down the front row. Yeah, make me cry. And uh, touched, <laughs> touched everyone's That's hand. That's awesome. And then this is the one to the last, last show. So I was in the building, but I wasn't on the front row. So. And if you notice, the date is the 7th because that's. That was uh, the original. That was the original, and it was rescheduled for a week later. So let's talk about those shows. You got to see both shows. Both shows. The first one was more melancholy, because um, he didn't. He played some songs the same in both, uh, but he played "Elephants and Flowers" in the first show, and actually had to leave the stage to compose himself a little. It was kind of a moment. Um, he didn't play "Purple Rain" um, at the end of that show. He didn't play "Purple Rain" to the end of the second show. Can you all hear okay? You all got to talk up. Sorry, I have a weak voice. <laughs> <laughs> playing band so so she so he didn't play purple rain at the end of the first show is that what no. you said okay and so so how did you feel when you left the first show well the first show is when i had just touched his hand and i was just outside going, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i just touched his hand because um, you have to have your fangirl moment um, oh, yeah. every once in a while and i was telling everyone around because you had to go out the fox get back in line to get back in yeah um so everyone that was around me i was like i just touched his hand <laughs> I would, I, well, the first time I met him, it, it took a while, but on my way home, my friend and I that was with me, when I finally got to meet him, we had a five hour drive back home, and I guess about every 20 minutes, we just look at each other and go, we just met friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd go, like have a little fan geek out moment, and then we'd go back to like listening to the radio or talking about other stuff and kept driving. And then about 20 minutes ago, hey, we just met friends. <laughs> and it was like that for five hours. So well, One of my favorite stories, um, he came to the Tabernacle uh, when he was uh, working with Tamar. And the twins were on that. And he had the LED lights in his heels. Yeah. And I came this close to getting kicked in the head because it was up there. <laughs> And shot his foot out, and literally, I was looking right at the hill, and I was like, oh, "Couldn't you just kick?" I would have liked to have had a scar. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you were a you were attracted to lights, so exactly. yeah. So, like, I have lights. so I what? Him, like, there's lights in his heels. So the question is, if, if he did like hit you and you had like a little scar, would it be shaped like a little symbol? Yeah, that would be it. yeah. of course. We'd have to sew it up that way. <laughs> I think this one's you know, this is the original Rolling Stone. Oh yeah. The '86 Rolling Stone. Yep. Yeah, I remember seeing that on the shelf and freaking I was like, oh, my dude is on the cover. Yeah. A lot of the others are, are you know, where you used to have a wall and you'd stick up. You got all the clippings? It's, it's my clippings of things I put on my wall. So what was your first, so what was the first Prince uh, image or slick that you put up on the wall Probably. when you were a kid? 
probably the purple ring. This one. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I that love would have that. Been a close second. Yeah. But my favorite, um, I guess, image is one that Steve Bart did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Uh... And then, oh, and I also have a cloud guitar. Um, what? what? We've been here this long and just now saw this. <sighs> yeah. So who plays it? Uh, no one. No one. <laughs> Because <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get the, no I gotta get the, uh, the right. Is it a wild cheetah? Is the uh... oh the guitar strap? Yeah, the guitar strap. So who's Man. got the cloud guitar? Who has the cloud guitar in their collections? Yeah, we, we probably just lost about twenty people. They passed out. <laughs> <laughs> so Mary was saying, did you feel like Prince was saying goodbye in Atlanta? Absolutely. Yeah, when, uh, I'll probably cry, but um. It's okay. No. It's okay. We we've all we've all went through this. Yeah. And still do. It's oh. okay. I got the feeling that night that it was the last time I was gonna see him, but I didn't get the feeling it was the last last time. You're right. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It was emotional. Sorry. Yeah. Jenna says she's Thank crying you. with you, so. <laughs> Can't so we all that. are. No, it's it it's it's tough. Especially when, you know, people like us Mike were this we're passionate about it. Lisa, she's making me cry. Yep. Yep, we're all crying now. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're all here. <laughs> so then I had to do a tribute. Yeah. Yeah. So it was Steve Park's picture kept coming into my head. And I'd never in my life wanted body art. It wasn't my thing. I didn't want a tattoo. I started researching and I found an amazing artist. And yeah, Here we go. look at this. Wow. Like seriously, I when I saw that, I wanted to faint. <laughs> I saw this online somewhere and I didn't know it was yours. I'd just uh, seen the photo and it I was It is so away. awesome. It's so beautiful. Yep. It's honestly one of the best tattoos I've ever seen. Thank you. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. It, well, it dwarfs mine and absolutely kicked mine's ass. Mine's nowhere near Everybody that cool. Everybody's like, holy cow. <laughs> They're all like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's my tribute. That is amazing. So what did you all think? <laughs> Mom comes home Ser with tattoos. Seriously, what did you think? They're all sitting back there all quiet going, mm-hmm. <laughs> honestly, I said it was badass. <laughs> it is so badass. It was an awesome tattoo. Your mom is badass, seriously. Is. Yeah. Well, first I came home after doing something, and she was like, so I'm, I'm, there's something going to happen. What's going to happen? So I spent, well, like, five minutes guessing what she was going to do. And I was like, like, what, tattoo? And she like, bingo. And then, came home with that and was like, oh, that's really cool. And then, like, some friends, like, I showed some people, like, I showed my friends at school, they're like, oh, my God, that's so cool. And this one guy was like, it's terrible. The line works awful. I'm like, no, it's not. You don't know anything you're talking about. Good for you for defending your mom's tattoo. <laughs> like, you don't like, know. Look at the glasses. It's not a perfect circle. I'm like, because glasses aren't perfect circles. Yeah. And it's like, it was like straight from the picture. So it's like. Yeah. Oh so your mom was badass. <laughs> yes. She has badass credit now. I love it. It's, it's an awesome tattoo. So it, is it like, I mean, obviously Prince has always been in your world, in your family, mm -hmm. <laughs> but is this like, all of a sudden now, have you seen like a new shift? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because um, beforehand, it was just, we listened to his music a lot and it was, I mean, it was a great artist and I loved it, but now it's like. Every time you hear the music, it's like more sentimental value to it. It's he was an amazing artist. He could do so many things, and yeah, it, it brings you like more appreciation of the music that he did. Yeah. So, I yeah, guess it shines a new light on it now. What What is your? So you obviously you all like music because you're a musical family. So, so what type of music do you like? Like who like is your? Like what type of music do you like, or who's your favorite music artist that you like? 
because you know. Um, I'm more into like the indie rock type of thing. Uh huh. I, I don't really like auto tune or the uh -huh. techno music, which is yep. the reason why I like Prince so much because the, the guitar and just everything was so real. <laughs> yeah. Which I love. That's why I like listening to alternative and indie music because that's what it is. It's just real rock. It's you know, it's the the old fashioned guitar, which is amazing. Um. Okay, so do you know who Kate Bush is? Guys, so, so you need. To, I want you to YouTube Kate, Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Right, Kate Bush and Prince. Okay. And I want you to listen. Okay. Seriously, and you're gonna be like, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And what's yours? Um, I listen to a lot of like brass band and like marching bands and stuff. Cause that's what I'm into. But more mainstream is like oh, Pink. Yeah. She's, she does a lot of different styles of like Prince. Would be I love Pink, yeah. So it's just yeah. Like, and she's just she never, always performs, never lip syncs and everything. So it's like they're both one and the same. All those, all those, all those artists, those cutting edge artists like her, like you said, she always performs. She doesn't lip sync, and she, you know, they all had a huge reverence for him. And so, so if Pink. So babe, if Pink is like an influence that he really likes, what do you think he should listen to with Prince? The artist Pink? Yeah. Oh man, she is Alicia, right? Alicia. Alicia's a real name. I, I, I she is. Her but, but what um, Prince? Because I think I was saying Kate Bush for the indie influence. For Pink inspired, I would go with Ray. Into the Joy Fantastic. With Rave into the Joy Fantastic. Not unto, into. Into. There's unto, yeah. and then into. Yeah. I got both. This one. Of course. And your mother has both. <laughs> <laughs> of course she does. This is the regular version that was released at stores, and this is the one that was like the remix of this one. Everybody's like, raised, raised your right. Good, parenting. Good, <laughs> Good parenting. epic parenting. So, yeah, if. if Pink is, man, she's such a powerful vocalist, too. We as a family all went as a family of four. It was their first first rock concert. Pink? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was a spectacle, too. She that's awesome. Big, huge production. So uh, that's got to be just... Yeah. Like yeah. My first concert was Billy Joel on the Innocent Man Tour. And then, like, a month later, saw Hugh Lewis in the News on the sports tour. And then about two months after that, I saw the Purple Rain tour, and it was done, my and first, it was over. <laughs> my first concert was Culture Club. Oh, my God. Yeah. Culture Club? How cool is that? And I got to see them a, a year or two ago as well. Yeah, Boy George. Yeah, he, he's yeah. done Purple Rain. I've heard him sing that on stage. Well, the, I mean, the lyrical content of Boy George and Culture Club's works are amazing. Definitely got to get the 3121 cologne in there. Cologne slash perfume. I didn't get the wild, the be wild. Oh, the get wild cologne get is, wild, is yeah. uh, very expensive. Yeah, I missed that opportunity. I'm still, I'm stuck right here. Hey, Jack. Look at this. And these are so uh, totally stuck on the Oh, I have those too. And this... My son made for me. He did that for you. Oh. Again. Okay. The, the cross stitch thing I did for Mother's Day. Yes, that was my Mother's Day present. I'm very impressed. Seriously. I forgot how to do it. I did that when I was like eight, ten. I'm very that impressed. That was super impressive. I'm a very easy person to shop for. We to, were with uh, Mike, Constant, <laughs> Mike Constantine, who was, who's on here. Oh, he says his first concert was Thompson Twins. Uh, Cover for a moment. I can and uh, um, uh, Mike's children uh, were much younger than you, but they were on the collector spotlight, and they were showing us all the things that they make for him. <laughs> and they made some clay sculptures of one of them actually did tried to do Prince's face, which was cool. And then the other one, and they were little, they were they were awesome. Mike, their their sculpture was fantastic. Um, and then they had somebody, one of them, his son did the symbol. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Micah has joined us. My, uh, my favorite, one of the questions that people always ask me are like, you're stranded on a desert island. 
You only have three CDs, and what would they be? Yeah, what would they be? Her One Idol on Live, Crystal Ball, and Chaos and Disorder. Oh, yeah. I love that one. That is a fantastic. This is so underrated. I do, I believe uh, it's the most underrated, but it's my, definitely one of my favorites. It is absolutely underrated, and um, it, uh, I work out to this CD. Have you all listened to this? So this is going to be a rock influence of his. So this would be, like anything, you got to like listen through it, you know, like anything. It's the first time you hear it, you're like, uh, and then you hear it again, you're like, okay, I get it, I dig it. And the Rainbow Children. Rainbow Children. That one was pretty neat. So Kababi, uh, comes with. we had him with us at the Paisley Midwest party this last July, and um, he saw and he uh, sold an original artwork, which I think there are still some prints of it available, where he did an inf he did an original piece uh, celebrating the four the fortieth anniversary of For You. Mm -hmm. And um, so he came, and so Kababi was the artist who did the album cover for Rainbow Children back in the day. And this art piece is in Paisley right now. It's a massive canvas, which is not placed correctly. And we're going get to get on him about it because it's placed too close to a window. It's going to it's going to well, she fade. said she was easy to shop for, so <laughs> um, as a thank you for doing the collector spotlight, we treated her to the... She was our guest for the Maserati showcase last night. But we also brought a few things. I don't know if you had this. Is a remix of the all the stuff that we had remixed for the uh, Paisley Midwest party I do back that. Thank you. in July. The City Pages Ooh, from Minnesota. I didn't get that one. I have many others. I didn't get that one. Well, you do now. You're hitting, you hitting have a grand slam. Is have a grand, do you have a record player? I do. Well, now you have a slip mat for it. Ooh, look at that. And it glows. Oh, it glows I love glowy things. <laughs> That's true. Sure. She says the lights as they're laughing. This <laughs> is um, a DJ remix CD that was done at the Autism Rocks oh. right after he passed away. Okay. Um, Moore's Day in the Time performed. Um, it was at the Apollo in London. Oh, wow. And these were only given away at, Micah. at the at the tribute, so oh, I'm honored. Have that and just a bunch of other little goodies that are in the little bag Please. there. Well, thank you. This has been goodies. awesome. I've never actually seen all of my stuff, and again, there's still some missing. So Girl, I'm, you need I'm a room. Slides. You need a room. I'm sorry, y'all, but she needs a room. <laughs> we'll be empty nesters soon, so I can. The They're like, don't kick us out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's for you. Well, her room used to be purple, and when she said she wanted to change the color, I was not. It I was hesitant. purple for many years. It was. It, that it, it faded. It you made a purple when I leave. <laughs> it, it, hurt, it hurt just a little. It made purple go away. Oh, okay. we didn't send my calendar. Have to oh, we got the count. Oh, this is the three. It's got mm -hmm. a bunch of the one night alone. Open it. Sure. Well, I mean, we should let that. Yeah, we'll one let. night alone was just obviously it was my favorite tour, I guess. I got to see the one night alone in Columbus, and Cincinnati, and in Louisville. That's one of my favorite. I saw it uh, twice here in Atlanta and once in Toronto. So you got to see it in Toronto as well. I saw musicology and and. and one I want in Toronto. That's a great picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Behind the drums. So calendars are another, you know, some collectors don't realize that there is a whole group of calendars that are out there um, with amazing imagery. Um, and uh, they are their own collection genre. So, and they come up on the five and dime periodically. I love that. That's the wardrobe cases that they had yep. at the um, Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, you know in musicology when he was in the box and they're Yeah, they will in that. Um, I was on an edge about fifth row and, and it was where the band would walk by. And of course the bodyguards are there too. So an eight foot two guy walks by and a candy dilfer was gonna walk by. I was sticking my hand out to high five, but I couldn't because of the bodyguard. She came yeah. back and gave me a high five. 
Yeah, let's see. That's you got that energy. Awesome what? anyway. We're gonna see Candy uh, in Candy October. Candy, you need a trombone or a back berry sax player, call me. Uh -huh. Candy and Honey should be together. Yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Bam, and then there's that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, those are beautiful pictures. An advertisement for the One Night Alone box set. Yes. It's fantastic. Let me look. I want to look through the publications. So as, as the collection started going it just started bigger and bigger, were the parents ever like, what is this weirdness? What are you doing? Who's got oh, that Minneapolis uh, St. Paul publication? Baby. Not everybody has that. Yeah, we're totally going for some bad luck. Oh. We got, that's from the Twins game. Mm -hmm. The Twins game umbrella. I have the blow up guitar. I think it was the next one that I had. That is super cool. Your purple rain umbrella. I haven't opened mine, so it's nice to see it open. <laughs> and go on the it's legit with the tag from Prince Knight. That's awesome. Yeah, this is super cool. We can't thank you enough for letting us come in. Oh, this has just been a joy. Here. I mean, I, it's, it's great having people that get this and appreciate this. Well, you're going all over the world. Everyone, all the collectors all over the world are appreciating it right now. And, you know, even down to the, the clippings, there's, you know, collectors that just have volumes of scrapbooks of clippings, like music yeah. clippings, magazine clippings. And they collect every single clip. Who remembers Teen Beat? <laughs> <coughs> And the foldouts, I don't want to open them because you're, you're they're older them. publications. You're welcome. Uh oh, I remember this one. Yep, I had that one hanging on my wall when I was uh, probably about 14. Oh, look, there's my wife's boyfriend, David what? Lee Roth. Yes, I, I had a David, look, he's right next to Prince. I had a David Lee Roth crush. We were discussing crushes. David was on my list. <laughs> <laughs> That was when Van Halen was or was the real Van Halen, not the Sammy Van Halen. And we even got Prince on the TV. Oh yeah, rolling some. Gonna be a beautiful night. But the stand-up is amazing. Everyone asks me, is it life size? I can tell you unequivocally, no. <laughs> he was not that tall. <laughs> he was not that tall. No, he was. Um, that's like the top of his head. Yeah. Yeah, he's he was very short and but a monster. I prefer vertically challenged. He's vertically challenged. You're petite too. <laughs> and then the cloud guitar. So what's going to happen? So Manchester UK is in the house. He said great collection. Thank you. So what's going to happen when you get the strap? Is it ever going to be played? Well, the the, the who honey, plays it in the family? Uh, well, we have a couple of guitar. I mean, I can play mm, a handful of chords enough to play. And, but uh, I, I would, I'm hoping that one of the kids would want it. We have an acoustic in the house to pursue the guitar. In. But my honey hive vision is I'm going to have a room and make a small stage with that behind the microphone. With the stand up. I'm going to set uh, the guitar up. But I, and I want to get yeah. I want to get a kick drum with the cymbal on it. So I, I'm sort of setting up a stage, an empty stage. But yeah. A little faux stage. Yeah. Um, That's my honey high vision. That sounds like something we may have to pay. Have to do in the five and down too. The honey, I love the thought of that. The honey hive. The honey hive but, is going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to be a cool name like the honey hive. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's my real name for anyone that was asking. Whatever. And that is Honey's name. It is yeah, Honey. Her name is Honey. I haven't been flirting with her all day. It actually it really is Honey. Get in trouble. <laughs> so, any last questions before we tune oh, out? Is there any yeah, questions so. that have been going through? Oh, yeah, the, even down in the phone case. So, does anyone have any questions? Uh, particularly, we were talking about the Atlanta shows. Honey, for those of you who just. Don't uh, cry again. I know, who just joined. Um, Honey was at the last two shows here in Atlanta, and I, I don't know if you have seen it or if any of you all had, have seen it on YouTube, but the um, there's that tribute video that was put together by locally here in Atlanta by Purple Family. Google, people Google it. It's on YouTube. Um, 
uh, it was a, a little docu video that was put on by um, Purple Family in the area who talked about going to the show. And uh, it was put on after, they put it together after the transition. And then there were some people who had tickets who couldn't go or couldn't get tickets who had been to every show but that show. And it's, a, it's really an emotional, um, an emotional uh, clip to watch. I on, on my DVR that I'll show you uh, here towards the end. Um, Give everybody a chance to ask their questions. So too. does anyone have any questions while we are booting something up here? Mary says, you were so fortunate to have seen him in the end. Yeah. Right. Yep. And. And then Mary was asking about, do you see that black magazine? Oops. Black magazine. A little more specific. Mary, I'm not sure which black magazine. What was that black looking magazine? Yep. This one? Is it this one, Mary? No, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Right there? Or is this it one? this one? Okay. Okay. So, so this was on MB, NBC Dateline. That's me. And that's Prince. So where are you? This right is here. me right here. You're right there. Yep. So he was coming down. Is this when he when he shook your hand? Yeah. The, he's going down the front, low, front row of the first show. And he did touch hands with everyone in the front row. Um, this video cuts off right before he gets to me. But it did happen, I swear. I see oh. that's you. That's you right there. That is me. Yeah. That is super cool. So you actually have. What an have amazing. Proof I was on the front row. Yeah, on my Facebook, <laughs> that's actually a uh, blown up, where where both of us are in the same same frame. So. That is an amazing, amazing. It's a it's an amazing image that you have, that was captured and that you were there. So thank you, Stacy Boyd, because I believe she did that. Uh, Mary's saying it's. I think it said documentary. She's looking at. There was a black magazine that said documentary or a black publication. They're looking for it. Christopher, Those we're definitely bodies. a purple Very family. Bad. If you ever feel like sharing that cloud guitar, I'm here in Manchester, <laughs> UK. Is it that one? Christopher, is it this one? It's the illustrated one. Mary, biography. it's a, It's actually a, a softbound book. Softbound book? Or actually, I think is it, that would be this, right? Mm -hmm. It's softbound? Softbound. It had the author's name on the top of the publication. Hmm, we're trying to find that. Yeah. I'm sure this is the one because it's the biography with the author's name at the top. Yep, I think that's it. Yep, that one. Donna Hare. So it's uh, Prince, the first illustrated <coughs> biography by John W. Duffy. And. <coughs> I don't know who else may have it. What an awesome shot with Des. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. I, I haven't seen this. I think we have this one. I think it's in the five and dime. Can you go back to the, open it up, the first page. Let's see. Here is. The press stamp in here for anyone who's looking for this. So yeah, beautiful publication. eBay is getting ready to just get blasted. Yep, oh. eBay is going to get blasted. <laughs> Everybody's oh, going to go on eBay and start. <laughs> Everybody's going to go attack all those magazines and get them. And we even pulled out a couple of the old phone cases. So this is not just for today. This you know, this is love and longevity. See how that's beat up? <laughs> yeah. That's absolute love. That's the way it's supposed to go. And then this. These um, were tributes. Yeah, I, um, the tribute we're band. We're blessed here. Um, the Purple Experience. Um, yep. 
comes a lot. They're going to be here in October mm -hmm. with uh, Marshall and the guys. They played at our uh, our uh, event in Minneapolis back in April. Mm -hmm. Marshall Karloff, and actually they're on that pass that I just gave you. And then uh, also when you go to Vegas, I went to Purple Rain. Jason Tenner out there, they are amazing. Um, I've been to, they. every time I go, they're in a different venue, but this was Hooters. They do put on a great show. In fact, uh, went out with some friends. Um, I got placed, of course, on the front row. And at one point, Jason stops and says, are there any songs you want to hear? And I was like, sexy MF. And he embarrassed me with his next comment. I turned red. Mm -hmm. They kicked off the song. And I was, of course, singing along uh, word for word. And he did this. And they played the whole song. And then afterwards, when I met him, he said, because you were singing along, because we don't normally play the whole song, but we play the whole song just for you. That's awesome. That is super cool. And because we're in a musical family, our son just brought this. Oh, yeah. We've even got the sheet music for When Doves Cry. That is a fantastic collector's item, the sheet music. I have the music book for Emancipation somewhere, um, but I don't know where I put it. And we have a whole jazz chart for uh, the piece of the temple. Yeah, we have a jazz, jazz, the jazz band. Of course band you do, because you got to put that piece together, right? Yes. And add all the brass. That's going to be your that. musical thesis. Yeah, we'll see <laughs> the this. breakdown I, of I thieves in the temple. <laughs> I want to see this on a marching band field. I wanna see, yeah. And the honey hive when I get there. Yeah, we'll exactly. <laughs> So any, yeah. was there any other questions? That any other questions anyone book? has? No, thanks for going back and finding the publication. One last view. Oh yeah, and let's do one last view of this amazing. <laughs> that's a that's that's a boss right there. Yep. That's like that I'm is serious. badass. <laughs> when your kids say you're badass, badass. that's yeah. yeah, that's really. What does your husband think? You know, he, I think he was, Does he wake up in the morning and go, no, oh, he, he there he is. Supportive. I think he thought I was just going to get like a little symbol, but um, go big or go home. Go big or go and, home, that's and true. The, the artist is Toto at ABT Tattoo. I think people should know that. So. Seriously. Um, He's amazing. The artwork is fantastic, and that is also one of my favorite um, Steve Park images. Yeah. Uh, Mary wants to know what your favorite item is. Yep. I don't know if you consider that a collectible. Oh, but we're, we're <laughs> well, really nobody attached. else can collect. You're really sure. attached. Yeah. You are, no. Well, uh, when I met Brown Mark last night, yeah. I, I showed it to him. He was like, "Can I have that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll cost you an arm. It'll co I know it. it will cost you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. So tell everybody what you thought about last night. It was. That uh, was uh, Maserati. Yeah, I mean, I. I, you know, you were being very secretive as to what it was. So I start going, well, Maserati is on, you know, the word's been up on your site for a while. So um, I dusted off the record, listened to the songs, and then I started, you started posting pictures. I'm like, I think I figured out what it was. And then yeah. to get there, and they were tight, and they were playing, you know, the grooves and the music that we want to, you could dance, you can cut loose. It was a little hot for my uh, my liking because the air yeah. conditioning was, was totally out. It was. It went out. One yeah. hour before yeah, the show, sweltering. I think I had eight bottles of water uh, in that yeah, hour and a half. It was it was very hot in there, and, but you know, with a band like that, you know it's going to be hot. And then the owner of the studio had talked to me earlier, and he goes, "You know Murphy's Law? <laughs> it's real." <laughs> and I said, "How real is it?" He goes, "You remember we're in there setting up?" I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Felt good?" I'm like, "Yeah." He goes. The air conditioner just went out 30 minutes ago. Oh. We got 30 minutes till we open the doors. It's going to be baking in there tonight. Yeah, it was hot. And yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. It was joking. much too hot was, to be cool, as I said. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I can't even like come up with anything better. I'm just. But out everybody, on that one. everybody stayed. Everybody was jamming. No, I don't think anyone left early. No. They were jamming before before they got in there with DJ Nevermind. They were they were in there. Yeah. You I, I did, I, when I had the chance to talk to, to Brown Mark, I was like, definitely going to tour. I will be there. So. Oh, man, yeah. If you didn't get a chance, well, most people didn't get the chance. There was a very, very small number of people there. Uh, the show is amazing. The band is tight. Tony, Tony Christians does not have an off switch, so he's always fun to see. And Mark, if he is able to join him on stage, you know, they opened up with Bang Bang. Ugh. And that's a tune that 
prints and Mark did together. So having Mark open the show with uh, Brown Mark Nation and Maserati Nation with Bang Bang was really neat. And they ran through some of the classic Maserati cuts. They did some Strawberry did some Lover, that's purple my favorite. Cuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Strawberry Lover. Um, but I, miles per hour. I love the Laura Branigan yeah, the cover. On that one. that yeah. was She's like. She's always in my hair. It was a great, mm-hmm. yes. great moment. Yeah. So, great show last night. Um, hope you had a good time. I did. I hope you enjoyed this. We yeah, definitely nice enjoyed coming in. And so, yeah, on behalf of Paisley Five and Dime, myself, my wife, Miss Lou, and Honey, thank you so much for. Thank you. You. Bringing us into your home and sharing these and your family very emotional memories. <laughs> and the, family. the kids raised correctly. Yeah, they're all into music. I mean, what what more could you want? It's a purple all... family. Music family. Yep. So anyway, guys, if you have any other questions, comments, just leave them in the comments section after the video is over. Hope you enjoyed. And this is Honey. Get to know her. She's gonna be in the collecting world for a while. And she's got the one piece you all will never have. So just go ahead and get over it. Right there. Nobody's yeah, nobody can nobody can take that and collect so, it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to get her in touch with Steve. Yeah, I'd Mike love for, uh, I'd love for Steve. Mike Constantine said that uh, he wants a collector showcase um, reunion at the Paisley Midwest party in Lexington. I will make an effort to absolutely do yeah, that. In, yeah, in in July. July. So <laughs> we can get, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel pretty confident Tim and Heather will come. And then we get Mike and his lovely to come, and we get Honey to pull her man into the purple world and bring the <laughs> bring the kids. Uh, I'd be on the yeah. <laughs> My son, my son is in drum corps. He'll be touring. The, the oh, he'll be touring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my age out. So last year was really so yeah. Oh yeah, if it's last year, you definitely got to do that. We'll catch you next year. <laughs> you go take care of business. But anyway, folks, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, and uh, hope you had a good time. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.